59 years of experience up here with Terry. Eight-year-old Jimmy Martinez really believed in Santa Claus last year when he was seven years old. And then he found a whole stash of Christmas presents in his house that on Christmas morning ended up under the tree from Santa. So now he knows. Let me preface this by saying I've been a mall Santa primarily, and I've gotten this question very often. And it's, it's hard. We thought about whether or not there was a Santa, and something happened that convinced us that yes, there is a Santa. There may even be a Jewish father who, you know how that is with Santa Claus. I tell the children, okay, the moment you stop believing in Santa, that's the moment you don't get toys anymore and you get socks and underwear for Christmas. My little sister has been diagnosed with leukemia. Santa Claus, I want you to make her well. I let him know that uh, there's always hope. And I think that's what Christmas is about anyway. I tell them, the reindeer are not here. They're still the North Pole. But I'm gonna say, you know how I got here today? I said, I've got this 57 Chevrolet. That's good. And I put two four-barrel carburetors. I put a forest key on it. It's got headers and high compression, and I use racing gas. I want you to know that the old car flies just like the sleigh does. They say, what's a Chevy? <laughs> Young man comes up, says, I am Jewish. I don't believe in Santa. And this, by the way, after he has stomped on my thousand dollar cape and grinded his foot into my cape, my parents told me all Santas are pedophiles. He tells me, you know what I want for Christmas? I want a football. The kind of football you throw into a crowd and it explodes. How, how do you answer a child like that? Call the cops. We're all going to get kids that like to show off to their friends. Yeah. I, I guarantee you that kid will probably had buddies or somebody that was watching and listening. And he's going to try and prove a point and show off. I drive a school bus. I deal with My mind is churning every day. And about the third day of this, he's mouthing off again. And I turn on to a residential neighborhood and I stop at the first stop. Put it in, I threw the air brake and got up out of my seat and I took about two steps back and I said, Richard, I says, if you're so infatuated with Santa and you have to make these darn blessed comments all the time, get up here and sit on my lap and tell me what you want for Christmas. <laughs> oh my gosh, his buddies just ate him alive. And I didn't hear a word from him the next day. <laughs>